like an ant that was going for my hand that whole time. I was so distracted. <laughs> guys so right now or today I'm going to tell you about why I moved to Australia but I thought I'd just tell you guys why I moved to Australia and how I moved to Australia and just fill you in on a bit on the process that has happened to get me here so basically Jeremy and I used to always meet up at uh, this place called Sunset Grill uh, in Toronto for lunch I was at college during the time and Jeremy was working full-time um, we used to always meet up at lunch and have lunch there and just talk about our days and whatever else was going on. Um, and on one day, I was one of the first days of January, we met up for lunch and uh, Jeremy had a lot of different things on his mind and so did I. And basically we decided from this one conversation at lunch that we wanted to move to Australia for a year. So it was a really exciting day because in that day we just spontaneously decided, you know what, we're in Toronto for another year, after that we're going to Australia. Before then we were going to do a two week trip to Australia so that I could meet Jeremy's family and he could see them because he hadn't seen them in two and a half years. Um, and in that decision I also decided that I wasn't going to go any further with my schooling. Um, at the time I was doing a one year certificate program in American Sign Language. I didn't want to take it any farther past that certificate program. So uh, we planned for me to complete that certificate program, live another year in Toronto and then go to Australia. It took him a few months to get his visas approved when he came over to America and when he came to Canada. So we figured that we best be like on top of our game and start to get me all set up for the visas or for my working holiday visa for Australia just ahead of time. And we did, and when we did that, it was pretty easy. And we just kind of like, without even realizing, got it all filled out for me um, and submitted that night. It cost $400, took like a half an hour to fill out the forms. And uh, that was kind of like, that was the application put in. And we were like, great, okay, hopefully we're here within the next few months. Uh, in the meantime, let's just plan our trip to Australia that we're gonna do this spring. To our surprise, we woke up the next morning saying that my application was approved and that I had one year to activate my working holiday visa within Australia. And it kind of instantly threw some changes at us because one, we had to move to Australia within a year. I couldn't get reimbursed for the $400. I could cancel my application, but again, I couldn't get the $400 back and I'd have to wait a whole nother year to reapply for it. And two, because I had gotten approved for the visa, uh, if I entered Australia, it meant that my visa was activated. So that trip that we were planning on doing in the spring, I would be activating my visa. So basically we were like, okay. And then from that, we made the spontaneous decision that, you know what, screw it. I'm finishing school at the end of this April. Let's not go to Australia for a vacation. Let's just move there for the year. Activate my visa, see your family because you haven't seen them in two and a half years and just get there and just do it um, because we're planning on doing it anyways. So like, why wait? Let's just go do it. So that was our thought process and that's what we decided to do. We also decided in that conversation that we would move to the Gold Coast because Jeremy felt that that would be the best place for me to experience like the beach lifestyle. Fast forward from January to May, I had finished my college. Jeremy had left his job. Um, we were all ready to go and move to Australia. So we traveled from Toronto to LA. We stayed in LA for four days just to break up our trip, visited with some of Jeremy's friends. Um, and then from LA, we traveled from LA to Auckland, then Auckland to Sydney. Um, like I said before, Jeremy hadn't seen his family in like two and a half years. So we stayed in Sydney for about a month, visited um, with his, with his connected with his whole family, went and visited with his mom in Threadbow, connected with her, it was amazing for me to meet them all and to meet all these people in Jeremy's life because I hadn't met them yet. That was like the whole process of getting to Australia. Um, and it was a really amazing process because it came from like trust and faith and things that, it was just trust in myself and Jeremy and our relationship. I had never done this before. I grew up in a tiny little place, a little lake, in the country, like in Canada, in the country, in Ontario, and it was just like, I had never been swimming in the ocean before moving here. So moving to Australia was a very obvious choice for me because one, Jeremy was Australian. 
two, I knew I needed to go abroad to expand myself if I didn't want to go to school any farther. If I wasn't going to continue forward with college or university, for me, the only other option was to travel to gain life experience. Um, so coming to Australia with my Australian boyfriend um, and to live on a beach when I have never lived close to the ocean, when I had never been swimming in the ocean before was just like, it just made sense even though I had done none of it before. And when at the time when we made the original decision, we'd only been together for about three months. And for me, it's just, it's absolutely amazing because we made a risky decision. Both of our families are extremely supportive. But I think both of our families were probably pretty surprised to hear that we were making this big leap together. What I hope that you can take from this is that this was a big decision, moving from Canada to Australia, that's the other side of the world. But it also was um, a decision that was, it was easy to make and it was even easier to follow through with um, because you just do it and then you make it work and we've made it work and I have grown so much as a person since moving here and I know I'm going to grow so much more and for me this move with Jeremy I think will be one of those moments that I look back at for the rest of my life and thank myself for and um, and we'll just be so damn proud of just being able to be spontaneous and then follow through with it and just so happy that I have a partner that wants to do the same thing. So yeah guys, that's that's how I moved to Tro or how I moved to Australia from Canada. It cost me $400, took 6 hours to get approved as a Canadian that had no criminal record and about 3 flights later, I was here in Australia for the first time ever and just like that, my life expanded from living in Canada my whole life in a really small neighborhood to like bang being on the other side of the world and having the confidence to know that if I set my heart to something and I decide to do it, that I will be able to do it and it's going to be even more amazing than I've ever imagined. Um, so I hope that you guys can take that and apply it to your dreams and what you want to do and just go and do it because you can do it and it's worth it and you will never ever ever regret it. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you like. Comment with any feedback and subscribe if you want to see more. You guys are the best. Hope you enjoyed. Bye guys. I'm going to go enjoy the beach.